learn about jigs and templates uh, in a woodworking application. Um, they're really cool. You can make them yourself and they let you do your job easier. Uh, we're going to kind of lump them together. A, a template is very similar, uh, very similar to a jig, but you know, it's just kind of a specific kind. And some people split them apart, some people join them together. We're just going to talk about jigs in general. Um, by definition, a device designed to hold a workpiece or guide a tool in a specific way. It's a complement to tools and machines. Um, what does that mean? Nothing really. Uh, it's, it's an aid, a workaround, or a shortcut. So it's something, it's something that you build to either help you do a job, to allow you to do a job that's, that you can't do otherwise with a machine, like modifies the function of a machine, or a shortcut to eliminate steps from a process. Um, just, just so you guys can kind of wrap your heads around it a little bit, these are two examples. Uh, this would be like a router template. So you would you would screw this down or clap this down or something, and then you can you, you get machine of this shape, right? Like a template, kind of like it sounds like. Uh, this one, a drilling jig uh, for putting handles on something. A drawer, this would be a drawer for a drawer specifically, right? So you have like a center mark, you mark center of your drawer, you set this thing on top, and you can drill all your holes with a handle there. Um, you know, it's, it's an aid, it's a shortcut, you don't, you don't use a measuring tape. You measure each thing down, over, uh, kind of helps you move the besties around. Um, yeah, so you want to use, you just want to use like cheap material. Um, yeah, so that's kind of an idea of what jigs are. Um, terminology, I'll quickly mention, um, with respect to woodworking, like it's pretty important. Like words, words mean specific things in this trade. So you like, you should try to learn what the words are. If if I say a word in this presentation that you guys don't understand, just stop me and I'll tell you what it is. But I, like as practice, you should use the proper words. So that's what I will do. Uh, what, what do we gain from using jigs? Um, repeatability, you know, like that drawer jig, say it's not perfectly centered. Say those holes are down, like a drawer, I'd say the drawer front is six inches. Those holes aren't three inches down, but they're two and three quarters. If we drill all the, all the handles on that entire job, you're not gonna notice. You know, it looks, it's like repeatable. It's more, Usually, in a lot of ways, repeatability is more important than like actual accuracy. Uh, speed and efficiency, less measuring, less awkward, scary cuts. You know, in some cases, um, that goes to safety as well. So basically, you just—it's a problem-solving thing, right? You like, you, you have a problem. You know, you're making you're making hundred chairs. And you, and you make jigs just so that they're all the same, right? And less machine setups, it's just, it's efficiency, right? Um, no need to reinvent the wheel. You know, um, it's a trade, woodworking in general is a trade that's built on like a huge body of knowledge. Uh, you gotta kinda, you gotta kinda give respect to the people who came before you because they're, they're smart, like, don't, they're <laughs> like, They've been doing it for hundreds of years, using like the machines are essentially the same. Just like use what they use. If you have to change it or tweak it, do it, like approach it that way. But like you don't need to, uh, you don't need to like go crazy and because you're just going to screw it up. Probably the mindset. Okay, <laughs> so uh, the one I showed you guys is a router template. Uh, you can uh, use a bit like this. It has a bearing on the bottom, and the bearing spins and it'll ride across your jig and spin, right? And then you have a cutter that will, that will cut your material to your, uh, to your jig, whatever it is, or your template, right? And, you know, you can see, so you, say you want a curve or an, an ellipt, an elliptical table, so, say, or like a curve desk or something, you make a template, like out of, out of kind of crappy material, you clamp it or, glue, or screw it down to your piece, and then you router off the excess, and then you have your same shape many, many times, right? Uh, there's, um, that's, the machine's called a router. It spins around. Um, your 
guide bearing rolls along your template and you cut off your material to whatever shape.